in this video we're gonna be doing a chit chat get not get ready with me chit chat one brand tutorial and this is gonna be with the amazing palladio cosmetics uh, brand because i love this brand so much and i have like a huge giant box, woo, box of stuff in here as you can tell so i really wanted to do this uh, one brand tutorial because you liked uh, my previous one so yeah we're gonna just jump in here and start doing it I don't have like a few products that I'm gonna need from Palladio so I'm gonna use just different brands but mostly it's gonna be Palladio Cosmetics so first I'm gonna apply some makeup base and I don't have any primer for my face from Palladio so I'm gonna start by applying something different okay for a foundation I'm gonna be using the Palladio of course herbal foundation oil free foundation in the shade creamy natural it looks like that and yeah, it looks like that and I'm sorry I'm sitting in a scarf in here, but it's so cold in my room right now Actually in my uh, whole entire house. It's so cold. The weather is so ugly like like crazy <laughs> So I was going to film something totally different actually I was going to film a, a get ready with me for a girl's day because I was going to go uh, to the city and do some thrift shopping and some uh, basically shopping with my friend but the weather is so like tragic and so super cold that we just decided we're not gonna do it today so i'm just here filming something different <laughs> okay so i'm uh, applying this foundation all over my entire face and i'm pretty sure this shade is gonna be a little tiny bit too dark for me but who cares right <laughs> Yeah, the shade is just a little bit too dark for me, as I said, and I need some more of this foundation. It's pretty liquidy, as you can tell, but it glides on skin really well, so first impression is good, let's say, but it's a bit too dark. <laughs> it's not like something really like super, super dark. Let me know what kind of weather is at your country, because I'm really curious, is it only me like it's so cold but it's still not like wintery we don't have snow yet i wish there was a snow because i could do some like nice lookbooks in the snow and at this time i can't i can't film anything outside actually because it's so super dark and just awful i have my studio lights on because if i don't turn the light on it's like like uh, so dark like it was it would be at night even though it's only like 11 o'clock right now so it's crazy too bad i don't have any like concealer uh, from palladio which would hide my imperfections but i have like this yellow liquidy concealer i guess it's under under eye concealer because it's in this yellow shade it's called banana so it's really cool but first i'm gonna just hide my imperfections with some a different uh, brand concealer okay and now I'm, now I'm gonna use this yellow concealer I'm I'm a bit afraid actually to use it because it's really like really yellow I don't know if you can tell in the camera it's super yellowy and pretty thick so I will just put a little amount under my eyes just to see what happens because I'm really afraid so yeah, oh my god, it's so yellow and I know that yellow tint hides, like balances the undertones, like purple and blue undertones under your eyes, but this is like super yellowy and super thick, so I feel like I need to do this really fast. So I'm gonna use my fingers just to pl blend the concealer into my skin and we'll see what happens. Oh my god, it's super thick. And a little tiny bit hard to blend, as you can tell. Oh gosh. I'm afraid it's gonna be looking like super yellow under my eyes because it does right now. Oh god, no. I'm, I'm really afraid of this concealer. It looks super cakey on my skin right now. I am... Mm -mm. I'm sorry, I love Palladio Cosmetics, but... This concealer is not good, so I'm just gonna 
how to remove that I'm sorry but I didn't like expect that to happen and I really need to just get it over my skin I feel really bad that I had to do this because I I was expecting this concealer to be like perfect and to hide my dark circles really well but it didn't maybe it's like not good for my skin so I'm just gonna put a little bit of the primer again under my eyes and a little bit of the foundation because foundation I really love it's amazing okay so I'm just gonna highlight with something different and yeah okay so I look really weird right now I know because my under eyes are like crazy light so I'm just gonna use my foundation brush with whatever's left on it and I'm just gonna blend it all in very carefully and very lightly Okay, then I'm gonna set it with a Palladio Rice Powder in this shade Translucent. It's in this container and you have to like yeah, tap, it, tap it on here and yeah. And then I'm gonna just run that all over my entire face. I love this powder, it smells really nice and it looks super natural it doesn't look cakey at all it's it's wonderful i love it okay so my brush i'm gonna do off the camera because i'm using my <coughs> other product not from palladio uh, and i'm gonna be back in a minute like that okay so i have my brows on so i look normal <laughs> okay so i'm gonna use my palladio herbal eyeshadow primer it looks like this and I'm gonna prime my eyelids, of course. <laughs> and if I look really tired, I'm sorry guys, but I have been watching Pretty Little Liars for the half of the night. I went just bananas over Pretty Little Liars, so yeah. <laughs> I guess I'm really late with this show because everyone has been raving about this for such a long time. <laughs> And I'm just obsessed right now. <laughs> That's how I spend my days, right? <laughs> I'm filming and then for the half of the day, I'm just watching Pretty Little Liars and reading books. So that's my life. <laughs> I, I don't know what I'm gonna be doing, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I want to use this quad right here, which is a called how it, Spellbound, Spellbound, so. Yeah, I'm gonna use probably this quad, but for some neutral shades I'm gonna take something different, like this quad, not, not a quad, this is like all in one herbal eyeshadow, yeah, and it's called Debutante. I'm gonna take first this shade in here, welcome to my face, <laughs> yeah, uh, if you know who, which YouTuber is telling that I really like respect for you because I love this girl and actually I'm gonna tell you who's telling like that if you don't know it's Danny from a uh, coffee break with Danny and I love this girl so much oh my god I'm just obsessed with her videos I think I'm gonna do some like full appropriate like um, smoky eye because I don't like to show you all the time like neutral looks I think it's just super boring so I'm just gonna go with the darkest shade from the palette or no, first I'm gonna use this shimmery shade you can see that right now I'm gonna use this shimmery shade to go a little in the uh, inner part of my lid I'm not gonna go really far in here because I want this look to be really smoky and sultry. So for the rest of my lid, I'm gonna go with the with the darkest shade, which is this one in here. I'm gonna very lightly go into my crease with this shade, like very gently. And then I'm gonna take my blending brush once again and I'm just gonna blend blend it out to get rid of this visible like lines and edges. Okay, 
day. So I think I'm gonna leave my top lid like that. And for my bottom lip, uh, lip lid, <laughs> I wanna use some uh, color, but I'm not sure what shade will I use because I have so many like colorful uh, um, pencils from Palladio that I just. I don't know. I think I'm gonna go with the green. So I'm gonna apply that on my uh, waterline and also above my uh, waterline. Ooh. <laughs> what have I done in here? Oh my god! <laughs> I'm just gonna blend that. Don't worry. We're, we're gonna we're roll with this. So. Okay, and now with the clean brush, like clean small brush, I'm just gonna uh, blend that. This pencil is super intense and super pigmented and it's hard to blend it out, but I'm doing my best. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take a small pencil brush <laughs> and the I like this shade, this one from this uh, quad, which is debutante once again, and I'm just gonna blend lightly the edges, uh, the edge of the green liner. Still, I have really low uh, liner. You can do with like only on your waterline if you like, if you like to do that. But I'm pretty happy with this because I love have a really thick lower lash line. For some highlight shade, I'm gonna use this, the lightest shade from the quad, which we used uh, before, which is this shade. And I'm gonna apply it in my inner corner and on my brow bone. And now we're gonna do some liner like liquid liner and again i i don't know what i'm gonna use because i have some black liners from palladio and i have these amazing liners at first is called the navy and the other one is called smoky and i have another one here called eggplant and they are so amazing this is like dark gray this is navy as it says and this is like muted uh, purple and I don't know what should I use I would really love to go with navy but I don't I'm not sure if it's not gonna be like too much but I'm still gonna do that <laughs> so I'm just gonna shake it and open it like that and it has this really nice little tip which makes the application really easy and I really love these liners and I really recommend them they are amazing I think I'm not gonna go all the way into my inner corner because that would be just too much. Okay, now I'm gonna apply some mascara and the one I'm using is the Curls Rule and it's from Palladio, of course. Okay, so I'm just gonna do my other eye and I'm gonna apply some falsies and I will be back. Okay, dolls, so I just did my other eye and as you can tell, I applied some falsies and I love this look it's so like feminine and so like fall-ish slash winter-ish <laughs> I'm just gonna use some bronzer I'm gonna use this one which is the herbal mosaic bronzer from Palladio and it's uh, in the name Sunkist I'm just swirling the colors all together Also, I think this makeup look suits the brown eyes really well, like it makes my eyes really pop. Okay, for I'm not uh, sure if I should use a blush because I don't have like really good ones. I have only, I mean they are good, but I don't know if they would go with this look. I have only this like herbal mosaic, it's, it's herbal mosaic powder, but I would, I don't know. For bronzer it wouldn't be good, it's like really dark, so I would use it as a blush. 
and I have this one which is like light pink so I think I would go with this one and the blush brush I'm using is also from Palladio Cosmetics and this is, uh, it's this angled brush instead of highlighter I'm gonna be using this bronzer which is baked bronzer in illuminating tan and it looks like that it, it reminds me of the MAC uh, baked mineral bronzers or skin finishes something like that for my lips I'm gonna be using some high intensity herbal lip balm in the shade PZS Pink. I don't know how to pronounce that. But I'm just gonna write it somewhere on the screen and it's in this beautiful like muted lavender shade or muted pink but first I'm gonna use some uh, pencil liner uh, lip liner on my lips because I can't go without my liner you know that okay I just did my uh, lip liner and I'm, uh, now I'm gonna be using this uh, lip balm and these are called lip balms because they protect your lips but they are so pigmented as lipsticks so I love using these and I feel like it's this look is a bit too purple so I'm gonna use a gloss and the gloss I'm gonna be using is the Plump and Shine uh, Herbal Plumping Lip Gloss and it's in the shade Creamy Pink Okay, so this is the final result. And okay dollies, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up because it means a lot to me. So just go there in. No, not this, this one. You wanna click this one. And yeah, that's all for today. And thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>